they will be discussing another program in VB. First, let me go to the VB. I have already told you. Just have to click on the start button. <coughs> Microsoft Visual Studio then you click so the VB icon is going to be like Microsoft Visual Basic just click on it I also have it on the desktop here then click here and open VB as soon as you open VB we have already seen one program in VB so it's going to show you the type different types of applications that you can create in VB we are going to choose a standard exe file the so new project here it says new project we use a standard exe throughout the semester we are going to create only standard exe right so if you have the program already then you can choose from either recent files or if you know the path of the file you can choose from existing as of now we are going to create a file so i'm going to use standard exe and click open right so this is my screen i'm going to get comfortable program we are going to do first let me give you the heading heading let me put it in a label another simple program this is so I have uh, taken a label see me draw the label here change the caption of the label to some simple program I have uh, taken taken the largest of let's say three numbers the logic of this is already known to you so that's why i picked this number this particular uh, program largest of three numbers change the font so that it looks little so this was a leaf you have already seen you can change the background color form so if you want to change the background color of your label click on the label go to the back color something I think is good and I'm going to click on the form for the we have actually changed the background of say the label okay I want to change the background for this form for this form so again I go to the back color property which is here of the form right some color it's a little different from the label what we have done let's finish the designing first for the largest of three numbers and then we will move on to the coding part right let's just keep observing what i'm doing right design part what i would like to have is i would like to have again some labels i'm going to say say the value of a or i'm just i'll just say a a change the color also some other color I want to yeah. A is in one corner I want to make it center property is alignment property I am going there and say center center aligned okay I want to have a text box for this particular label where I am going to be entering the values of A, B and C so this is the text box change I want in the text box is I don't want this text visible I want it blank so that I can enter some values there. So I made it blank, right? So the same thing I wanted for B and C. One thing I can do is I can copy, but always remember we are not creating controller is you have to always say no for controller. So create a copy, right click copy, right click paste. It is asking me, do you want to create a controller? I am saying no. I want to create a controller. No. Yeah all the properties are already there color setting all these are there so for me and let me paste no controller eh? yes we are going to say no for controller eh? only one program we are going to demonstrate controller eh, in the whole of our uh, semester so other programs and all you are going to say no early we would have a box here for entering the value of d okay, and remove this text have another text box here of C want everything in the same size but I've also copied and pasted it so you can the text box is 
text boxes are created namely text 1 can you see the name here text 2 and text 3 there are three text boxes so text box acts like a container like a jar cookie jar you put something inside stays inside the jar right the text box is a container like that this one uh, i have to change it into b and c respectively so i will do okay ready so i'll be entering three numbers here what is that i'm looking for okay I know the way of way for giving the inputs. How am I going to see the output? It's my design, my program, so I can do it any way. I'm going to have a button here. I'm going to say button. I'm going to call it as largest. Okay. I'm keeping this button here. I will enter three values. I'll click largest, and the answer should come here. Say largest number is. So let me have a label here says <coughs> the largest number is they will say the largest number is uh, wanted to change the color yeah we can do and have the answer coming in this text box i have one text box called text 4 right there are four text boxes in total. Three text boxes are used to give the input values A, B, C, and one text box I'm going to use it to take the right. So that is text box four. Let me not show that it's text box. Okay, so design is complete. Let me again tell you what we did so far. We opened a new project, clicked standard EXE and opened a project. In that project, first we dragged in a label change some properties of the label like the font and the color so then we moved on we had another three more labels a b and c then we added three text boxes where we can en give the values enter the values then i had a command button so this button is here it's called as command button i added a command button here then i again added a label to show the put for me this is my simple design you can design the designing is up to your pro up, to, up to the programmer can add pictures you can just play with it once the offline class starts i will ask you to you know have a lot of pictures downloaded and kept you can keep it with you in your pen drive the relevant pictures can be added into your screen and the design has to also carries marks remember that then also is going to carry marks five marks for designing right and then at last i added one text box where i am expecting the output to come right now when will I get the output? I will first enter three values, then I will click on this button called largest, and only then my output has to pop up, which means I have to click this button to get the output, or the event here is click of this button. So I'm going to double click this button and write the program. Okay. So same logic what we used to uh, usually write. Hope you understand. We are only going to have if if command here. Only thing you should remember. If command and VB should have an end if statement. Don't have these parentheses. Instead, you have an end if that you will learn slowly. First, let us explore. Okay? Let's see how to write the program. To make it easy, I thought we will have the same variables here A, B, C. Okay. So we are going to have variables and variable declaration also you will learn simultaneously. Again, I'm repeating this is just the lab. In theory, again, we are going to learn declarations, variables, data types, and all those things. Don't worry, that will again be dealt from the beginning. So now, just to write this program, how much you need, I will teach you that much. First, I have to declare variables. Use dimension command, dim command to do that. Dim. I want A, B, C, and let me have one variable called large. Okay, to store the largest number as integer this is the syntax you want to learn this very soon in theory data types how do you declare data types this is how you declare dim stands for dimension a comma b comma c comma large as integer yes I have declared four integers what is a a is nothing but text one dot text text box one dot text is a it be assigned to a but you should remember one important thing that it should be converted into otherwise it is going to be in text format which we don't want right similarly b is equal to value of text 2 c 
सी इज इक्वल टू वॉट टेक्स्ट थ्री वॉट टेक्स्ट राइट ए बी सी इज डन लार्जेस्ट इज वॉट वी आर गोन टू फाइंड आउट राइट लार्जेस्ट वॉट वी आर गोन टू फाइंड आउट नाउ स्टार्ट द इफ कमेंट आई हैव टू चेक so this i'll tell you the logic i will check if a is greater than b i'll again check if a is greater than c if a is greater than b and c then i will say a is the largest otherwise i will check if b is greater than c if b is greater than c i will say b is the largest else c is the largest so what we are going to do now simple logic which we already know if a is greater than b then okay i also want to check if a is greater than b i also want to check if a is greater than c also If a is greater than b, and then if a is greater than c also, then I can say large is equal to a. Now a is the large. This is not true, right? I'm going to just say if a is greater than b and a is also greater than c, then large is a. I'll end it here. Right? I'm going to use else command. Else if so a is greater than b, then these things happen. A is not greater than B, which means B is greater than A, right? Now I have to check if B is greater than C also. B is greater than C also, then my large is nothing but else my large will be C, right? End of. Okay. Same command. Only thing is you have to remember there is one if here that ends here in the end of. End if. Else and if one block inside that if I have one another small if command here. Okay, the same logic we will be using in any other programming language. So when we study if command, this is this is going to be even more clearer for you, right? You can use any logic. You can say I don't want to use end if else and all. I will say if a is greater than b and a is greater than c, then a is greater. Else if b is greater than c, like that. If you want to write. You can go ahead, right? So I will tell you how that can be done. If a is greater than b and a is greater than c, is the logic you will use. You understand? This is how the command will be, right? But I am using this logic. Any logic is fine, right? The program is written. So let me again repeat what we did. First, declared variables a, b, c, and large as integers. A is equal to value of text one. B is equal to value of text two. C is equal to value of text three. If A is greater than B, then we are again checking if A is greater than C. If A is also greater than C, then A is the largest. Okay. End of. Else, if B is greater than C, then B is largest. Else, C is largest. End. Okay. One more thing is there. We have to print the answer. No. Text four dot text is equal to. What large that has to come in text four dot text. With this, we have come to the end of the right. Let's see if this is a, we are able to execute this program. Done. Yeah, having the design here, perfect. And some random numbers. One example for each. It's fifty-six. Yes, correct. Let's say. Five here, so sixty-five. Some other seven, the largest is eighty-seven. So I had cases like first time C was largest, then A was largest, then B was largest. I checked all the cases and it is working perfectly. Right, very simple program. Most important things you have to remember in VB is this part where you are assigning the text box contents to variable and Part where you have to assign back the variable into the text box, right? I can also tell you: Should I use A, B, C variables? No, not required actually. You can straight away say if text one dot text is greater than text two dot text, then right. So that also is correct. So I will tell you how that can be written. So you wait. Instead of writing this, can I write if? Text one dot text greater than text two dot text, which is same as A and B, right? Text then, if this is correct, yes, this is also correct. These two are same, one and the same. These two comments, 
a is greater than b because i have assigned two variables i thought you will find that easier but in vb this itself will work those steps and all you can remove so as we go i will tell you directly using text boxes only not use variables only if it is very necessary we feel that necessary to use uh, variables we will use it otherwise we will not use today i am using variables because so we are just starting no i don't want you to confuse with this line i thought more than this line you may understand this better right so i am using a greater than b greater than c that that is the law, way i am coding using variables i hope you have uh, understood this right you can note any observation notebooks design and okay yes since we have finished the program how do i save it so here saving again is little different every project has a form design and the project itself so there are two files you will save i'm just going to click on save button that's it see what it is doing i'm clicking on save button right it's asking me what is the form name i'm going to say large large name okay i'm going to say large so you have to see where you are saving it also matters so if at all i wanted to say i'll have a new folder i'll say times And inside that folder, I want to save. Fine, I will. But inside that, I'm going to save the form. See here, this is the form I'm saving, which is this part. Yeah, as soon as I save the form, I'm getting some error. Wait a minute. It's already there. Something is okay. Variable large, so it's not overwriting it. problem in my system path not found is the problem try and save some other folder some old path is not there i guess okay never mind the largest of three we say of three what i'm going to save the project as see here this is the project first what we saved is the form was saved as largest you can see that reflecting here now i'm going to change the project save the project now that also will reflect here right here it is reflecting largest of three is the project name largest is the form name see here add this project to source safe no i don't have any source safe i've not installed source safe so i will say no right that's it our first program in vb we have designed still we have not started our lab programs we will start it from the next week.